my crafty friends. Today I'm sharing with you some cards I've made using this set of Celestial Dream stamps from Hunky Dory Crafts. First I'm going to show you how I decorate the actual stamped out images and for the stamped out images this time I've gone ahead and heat embossed the stamped uh, different stamps and then I'm going to come in and decorate. Now these stamp sets have been designed so that you can come along and use all your different uh, crystals or um, pearls to decorate them. This card here you see I'm bringing in a selection of Nouveau uh, Dream Drops and I'm showing you there very quickly the different colours I'm using to go around and fill in the different sized circles within the images. And having it heat embossed uh, seems to make it a lot easier to keep your dream drop right in the center of the circles, as well as stopping them from uh, going outside the lines. I don't know why, <laughs> maybe it's just um, a visual thing that makes it easier for the um, person putting down the Nouveau drops. So I am trying to make sure I've got a mix of the colors evenly spread around the image itself. And you'll see in the different cards I've made that I'm going to use a variety of techniques also to add uh, a little bit more color and dimension to the cards as well. So this one's all finished. Now I just need to leave the Nouveau drops to dry a little while. And while that's happening, I'm bringing in some of my interference watercolors. And they're the ones down the bottom row of my paint set there that um, look white, but also have a um, iridescent property to them and I'm using a very fine brush and I'm coming along and just putting a little of the paint down one side of each of those uh, strings that the stars hang from. I'm then going to go in and very carefully add some gold to the stars up underneath the owl. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of the blue and I'm going to fill in that outer ring of the stamped image. And I'm using quite a lot of water in there with the uh, watercolour. I just want a very light wash and because this is on a black background, you don't need a lot of pigment to actually um, have the color show and highlight. So again, I'm just coming in with that light gold um, pigmented paint and I'm going around the crescent shape of the moon and I'm trying to be as careful as possible because my Nouveau drops are still setting. Um, but once I'm happy there, I'll have that finished. Now this is the second panel that I have stamped and heat embossed with uh, silver embossing powder and you can see I've come in with my watercolors and I've already uh, painted in some of the details on the planets as well as the sun. I'm now going ahead and I'm using these two-toned uh, flat back pearls from Pink and Main. And I'm going to use a variety of colors to highlight the different star signs or star constellations around the card there. And you can see I've also used some of the yellow and red pearls up the right hand side. And now I'm adding some of the blue green pearls to the left side. And I'm using a variety of sizes there as well. And it's quite easy to come along and fill in the different uh, sections of the design. It's all laid out very clearly and the different circles and shapes aren't that close together that it makes it hard to put your crystals in place or your uh, Nouveau drops in this case. 
and I'm using this time a mix of the Dream Drops along with some of the uh, normal opaque Nouveau Drops. And this one is actually a vintage drop, the, the dark blue. It's a denim colour. And here I'm using another vintage drop and it's in that teal green. And I'm just using colours that are reflected um, in the watercolours that I've used. And I'm just adding the final few touches of the Dream Drops now. Sorry, not Dream Drops, the Vintage Drops. Now I've made a number of panels and you'll see those decorated in the cards coming up. For this first card, it is a slimline card and it uses the LDRS Diagonal Stitched Postage Frame Slimline Die Set. So I've cut myself a base layer of gold cardstock to cover the front of the card. I've then used the large slimline postage edged die to then create a base for my embossed panel to go on. And you can see this one has lovely stitched edges around it. And I've used that beautiful uh, iridescent foiled card there. I've got the butterfly image all heat embossed and decorated with gems and that's popped up on some foam tape. I'm simply going to then add a sentiment across the middle butterfly and that finishes off the card. It's very simple, easy um, to have decorated and ready to go. Card number two, I'm using our pretty little cat image and I'm just showing you the detail there and the pearls that I've used. And I'm making a black, or I've made a black card base tent fold and then I've used a scalloped rectangular die and cut a light blue panel of pearlescent cardstock. And that's going to pick up on some of the light blue in the actual image where I've decorated. I'm going to put my decorated panel straight into the middle of that uh, pearlescent blue cardstock and then I've got my sentiment here stamped onto the pearlescent card and it says happy birthday. Now you do need to use a ink that isn't water-based to do this because the pearlescent paper has a coating on it and it won't stick or stamp onto it very well. Card number three, I'm using that large owl image and I've used some Love From Lizzie gold peel off stickers down both sides of the card to frame the image. I've popped that panel up on some black foam tape and here is the uh, sentiment that I've stamped out and heat embossed onto black card. And to help that stand out from the black background, I'm using some of that light blue pearlescent uh, cardstock and I've just cut myself a little rectangle with fish tailed ends. Now I can go ahead and attach my sentiment over the middle of the uh, little panel of blue cardstock and that card's finished, ready to go. And here is a second card I've made using the same stamp set, but uh, I've heat emboss that with the white opaque embossing powder. Card number four, I'm going to make myself an easel card. So I've cut a square base and I am now going ahead and adding on two of the holographic uh, cardstock panels. And you do need to score your card base halfway down the front and then attach two separate panels so that when you fold your card up into an easel, you can have that bend very easily. Now I'm just showing you there the foiled acetate that I'm using. And this one's lovely. It's got gold stars all over the background. And you do need to remember that when you're attaching your decorative images to your easel card, that you need to only Put the glue on the bottom half of your card so that it will stand up. So now I'm just removing the backing from my double sided tape and once that's done I'm going to add a little bit of glue for extra sturdiness 
and I'll attach that over top of my acetate panel there. I'm trying very, very hard to make sure I've got it um, placed on there evenly. And then I'm just going to go ahead and press down to make sure everything's firmly attached. Now the glue on the panel uh, with the acetate will dry clear. It will take time but to do that. Now I need to go ahead and decorate the inside of my card and I've chosen this misty coloured paper with the blue and the goldy yellows and then to form the little stopper for my easel, I've cut myself a little heart-shaped um, panel. Now before I attach my heart, I need to add my final decorative piece and that's a little thin strip of holographic paper. And I'm just going to place that towards the bottom third of my card. And once I've got that attached and happy with its position, I can go ahead and glue on my little stopper with my sentiment in the center of my panel and there's room there to be able to write a message in as well so that's how the card will stand when it's all ready to go i'm just showing you from the back you can see silver stars matching back with that silver holographic paper to get a nice view front and back Card number five is another slimline card and I've cut a large panel of holographic cardstock and that's going to cover the front of my card base. So I'll attach that on there. Just taking my time to wriggle it in position and then smoothing it down, trying not to smear any glue. So this is the butterfly panel. This time it's in a silver uh, embossing powder and decorated in blues and greens with the glitter enamel drops. Just placing that into the center of my holographic paper. I'll then take a wet wipe and wipe off the wet glue and then I can go ahead and foam mount my sentiment which says celebrating you. I'll add a little bit of glue just to make sure we stick nice and firmly to the embossing powder and then I just touch up any little spots of glue and my card's finished. I think it's really pretty. So here's a look back at all the cards I made using these three stamp sets. The stamp sets are so beautiful when you emboss them and then decorate that you really don't need to add anything else to the cards. They just uh, really stand out by themselves. I hope you've enjoyed the cards I've made today and I hope to see you again soon. Until next time, bye bye for now.